Oozing is a status effect that causes two slimes to spawn upon an entity's death. Now this is a new effect that's been added to 1.21. I'm currently in the trial chambers. There is a lot of emotion because I've given myself trial omen, night vision, saturation, and resistance. And over here, I've just tracked, I think there's another one over here. This is a new area effect cloud entity that provides oozing. I keep hearing them being launched everywhere, but I, here we go. So you can actually walk through them. <laughs> Ow. There are a lot of these potions that are just being thrown everywhere when you have Trial Omen to provide more complications to the mobs that you fight. All right, here we are. This guy has oozing because he totally walks through it. He's also bleeding green. Now, if I kill him, he splits into some slimes. Size 1 slimes. So they're just a little bit bigger than the smallest ones possible. And of course, when you kill that one, that splits into two. So effectively, the oozing effect, this guy's got it too. Yeah. Effectively, any mob that's affected by it will split into four mobs. This is fantastic for slime farms, right? No need for slime chunks anymore. You can simply have mobs affected by oozing. That's where you're wrong. Now the astute among you might immediately realize that this quickly becomes a problem for the game. Now I know Moyang means well. Here I have an oversimplified skeleton spawner. I have some oozing potions. These are all splash potions. I've got harming potions and I've got healing potions. I've got a brewing stand here if you don't know how to make an oozing potion. You might think it's really hard to do that. It's not. In fact, I'm gonna... All you need is a... S a single slime block. You throw that in, since the tick rate is so fast. That makes three oozing potions. It's not one second, because I have the tick rate accentuated. We can set that back to 20. It's gonna be modified to the correct duration. Three minutes of oozing. You can make this into a lingering potion, which is used in those trial chambers. For simplicity's sake, we'll put one gunpowder in there, and that's gonna make some splash. There, three splash potions of oozing. Now we're gonna use those right now because we already have them stocked up in these dispensers. Very easy to obtain, very easy to exploit. How many skeletons do we have here? 94, we'll wait for 100. We'll chuck a single splash potion of oozing, which will affect every single one of them, like this. So now all of them have oozing. I want to remind you guys that oozing does not affect the player. Don't try to ooze. Now obviously with skeletons, since they're undead mobs, you have to harm them with healing. And that is going to cause a bit of chaos. Now you might think this is totally fine. That is exactly what's going on. So remember when I said there were 100 skeletons in here? Now there are 200 slimes because 100 times two is 200. Because these are size one slimes, you can immediately harm all of them and duplicate them again. And there you have it, 408 size zero slimes, perfect for server maintenance. Yeah, see, I don't know how Moyang are gonna deal with this. I'm not sure if this is completely intended, but you can easily make this even worse. Upwards of a thousand entities stacked up in a single chunk. But great for slime farms. You can see here I've accumulated four stacks. It's five now. Five and a half stacks, nearly six stacks of slimes. Actually, it's more than six now because I've collected 32 from here. That's exactly 45 slime blocks. From one single splash potion of oozing, I have just generated 45 slime blocks. My cobblestones are oozing. This is a chicken pen. There are no chickens right now because I killed them all. There are 256 chickens here. I'm gonna splash them all with oozing. And now I'm gonna harm them all. 